Seventh graders, this is part three of your DNA lab stations, and it's called Cracking the Code. So this is where we talked a lot in class about, you know, we don't have brown eyes because our DNA actually makes our eyes brown, okay? We talked a lot about DNA kind of just being a set of instructions or like a recipe, okay? And that recipe makes proteins, so what we have is we have little chefs inside of our cells called ribosomes, and they read that recipe, and then they go collect all the materials they need, and they build together this chain of amino acids. And as you guys know, amino acids are the building blocks for proteins. Okay, so when we talk about our eyes being a certain color or our hair being a certain color or our heart being able to function like it does, a lot of the times it's because of proteins. So because of those proteins, um, we're able to maybe have an actual pigmentation in our eye that turns our iris brown, okay? Or maybe we have more melanin, which is another type of protein in our skin that makes our skin darker than some people. And again, we get that from the DNA. If we didn't have the recipe to make those proteins, we wouldn't have them. And maybe our body wouldn't function in the correct way or something along that line. Okay, so what you guys are going to learn in this little um, part of today's lab stations is how to take DNA like a recipe and turn it into a protein and then be able to see how that protein changes some of our traits like hair color. Okay, so a gene is a long, is like a long sentence which gives instructions on how to make a protein. So if we look at our big long stretch of DNA, our gene is just a small little chunk of it. And, and throughout that whole stretch of DNA, we have a lot of different genes that all make different proteins. So again, a gene is like a long sentence which gives instructions on how to make a protein. Each sentence consists of three, uh, lots of three letter words. So we kind of group each of those A's, T's, C's, and G's up into groups of three. Okay, these words are written in a code uh, using only the letters A's, T's, C's, and G's, abbreviations for the bases adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. Each word is called a codon and codes for a piece of protein called an amino acid. These amino acids join together in a chain to form a protein, which determines something about you. For example, your hair color. Okay, so let's take a look at this next slide. So this is kind of a fancy little decoder ring that you guys get to use. Okay, the three letter abbreviations, uh, PHE, LEU, etc., are the names of the amino acids. So like proline is, there's only 20 types of amino acids that make up all the proteins in our body. Okay, proline is one of those 20. Arginine, leucine, aspartic acid, glutamine. We abbreviate these with these three little letter abbreviations right here. So ARG would represent arginine. SER, serine. Uh, threonine, THR, I believe. Okay, lysine, LYS. So you guys get the hint. Those are just the 20 amino acids that we use as building blocks to make all of our proteins. On the inside, you guys will see these little A's, T's, C's, and G's. Those are the little parts of our DNA. So basically, we can take these and kind of look at our code. All right, if we have three nucleotides or three nitrogen bases, A's, T's, C's, and G's, what protein does that give us? What amino acid does that give us? So the three letter abbreviations are the names of the amino acids. A protein is made up of a chain of amino acids. So you guys can see these same things here. GLY is glycine. Okay, ILE is isoleucine. VAL is valine. CYS is cysteine. So all of those are on the outside of this little decoder ring, if you will. Okay, so if you guys are working at home, you guys will be able to use that. You guys can always click and make your screen a little bit bigger if you guys are having a hard time looking at that, okay? Um, if you guys are in class, so you guys can come borrow a hard copy from me, okay? So you guys can use that as long as you don't write on it. What you guys will be doing is you will have three little individuals where you guys are going to figure out what their hair color is based on their DNA. So first, what you guys will do is you'll grab your draw tool, okay? Again, you see me for your hard copy. If you guys want to use this, you'll decode a ring in a much bigger fashion, Okay. What you guys will do is you will break these up into threes. Okay, these are the codons you guys will be using to figure out the color of this little gentleman's hair right here. So using the Dakota above, find out what color each hair of these boys will have according to their hair color gene. Okay, separate each codon with a dash. So the first one you guys would see is ATG. 
Okay, so you guys would look on here. You guys are gonna start with the big number in the center first. So let's go back up here and look. We're looking at ATG, so we go A, and then you guys go to the next level, you find T, and then you guys go to the next level, and out of T, this is our G. So that means we're gonna start with, oops, shoot, sorry, MET. So you guys would go back and you would type in MET. That's your guys' first amino acid in your chain of proteins. Then you guys would go TCA. Okay, so the next one would be, I'm gonna use a different color to show you guys, T. So start in the middle ring. Okay, so now you guys are just looking, this is the T range right here. Okay, your next one's C. So you guys are right there. So now you're just kind of looking in this range. And then our last letter was TCA, I believe. Yeah, so A is your last one. So that's gonna tell you guys what it is, TCA. So serine would be your guys' next amino acid in that chain. So you guys would go here, you would type in serine, and then you guys would do ACT, CAT, CTC, TAA, and you guys are gonna figure out the rest of this chain, okay? Right now, we've kind of already narrowed it down to two, so we know our first two amino acids are met and ser, okay? So once you guys have figured out doing the rest of your amino acid chain, it's gonna tell you guys whether your little guy has blonde hair or red hair, okay? So then in the last one, you guys will tell me what color hair he has, and then you guys can color his hair. Okay, the only color that you guys don't have in your highlighters or in your markers is brown. So you guys won't be able to color their hair if they have brown hair. But you guys can do blonde, you can do red, and you can do black. Okay, so that's kind of how you guys do this activity. So there's this little boy. You guys need to figure out what color his hair is. Let me erase this really quick. Okay, then there is this little guy with the sick flat top. Okay, and finally, this little guy with the sweet metal part, okay? So figure out what colors their hair is. Remember, start by drawing those lines and dividing those into three-letter codons, and then using your guys' super-duper decoder ring, starting with the middle and working out to the darker rings, okay? All righty, that ends your guys' part three, cracking the code part of the DNA lab.